Sony recently had their PlayStation showcase where we finally got a look at the Project Q streaming device and it's mostly what it is more than a handheld gaming device. It's used to stream your PS5 games on your home network and this certainly has garnered some interesting reaction, mostly fairly negative when it comes to this handheld. So let's kind of talk about it a little bit as I might have some different perspectives. Now, Sony's been into PS Remote Play for quite a while and they even made a new trailer for it here with the PS5 and to be able to play from your phone and tablet and your PC and all of that. Um, I've done all of these, you know, I've played from my phone, which is definitely my least favorite. I've used my iPad Pro a lot this way, actually, to play God of War Ragnarok. I did a lot of playthrough with that. Um, a little bit on my PC, but they, they certainly have pushed that as well. And they've, of course, had their partnership with Backbone for a controller for your phone, which I have one of these as well. And again, connected to my phone is one of my least favorite ways to use this it's okay in shorter sessions but i do prefer a dedicated handheld for gaming which we'll talk about a little bit more as well so they've always been into this play anywhere idea with the remote play and with something like the controllers that attach to a phone again for me for shorter sessions these make more sense because i'm tying up my phone and for me someone who's very busy with social media and businesses and other things I don't like to be gaming on my phone for very long as I usually have to do something on it other than gaming and I like a dedicated device that I'm playing on with my phone next to me. Now the G Cloud is something I also have and this has certainly become my go-to device with really long battery life for remote play. Remote playing my Series X and my PS5 have been fantastic on this device. Already works really great and you can play away from home. You don't have to be on your home network to play it, but it does come at a price tag of $350. Now we also had the Razer Edge, which I reviewed here on the channel, which is another dedicated cloud slash streaming device. Even though they can play other games, they can emulate, they can play Android games, just like the G Cloud or the Edge here, but they were marketed really as streaming cloud and remote play devices which they do just fine at that as well. Now, I prefer the G Cloud over the Razer Edge just because of the form factor, the size and ratio of the screen, and just still, again, preferring a more dedicated device and not just a snap-on controller to the tablet, something I kind of like better. They usually have a more solid feel and easier for me to grip for a longer period of time. Now, getting back over to the PlayStation 5, though, they've always kind of really been into the accessory side of things and while i may not be a huge fan of the design of the playstation 5 even though it's just fine i have been a big uh, lover of the dualsense controller design even though i'm an xbox controller guy mostly this controller really won me over and i really like using it so it is one thing with its features and everything else that it kind of has going for it when it comes to this project q device because i think it'll feel a lot like holding your dualsense controller as it's basically a split in half dualsense with a tablet in the middle here and it definitely doesn't look great and deserves a lot of the hate that it's it's getting but i did want to look at this from another perspective and accessories are just seeming to be a big thing with sony they did a lot of accessories with ps4 and they're doing a ton with the ps5 they've had their headset they've got the nice controller going with things they support the playstation 4 stuff as you can see here uh, for their accessories and then of course coming into playstation vr 2 which recently came out and that's another accessory for the playstation 5 albeit a very expensive one i'm waiting for that particular game really to hit to make me grab one i haven't grabbed it just yet but again it's another accessory that goes with this that Sony seems to really be hitting on and they really are leaning heavily into their console market and of course continuing to grow that base and that's what PlayStation is going to do they'll continue to grow that base and they'll probably have a large stable of accessories like the earbuds the Project Q the headphones the PSVR 2 and other things apparently when the slim comes out we'll have like a CD drive accessory that can be plugged into it so this device certainly from that standpoint of accessory and going with the playstation 5 family and not being a dedicated handheld on its own does make sense now it doesn't look great but i think it's going to be comfortable to play and i think overall as far as again looking at the accessories looking at them supporting so much remote play and play anywhere i think it's just giving players another option price is going to be a big thing is it going to be 
199 149 299 249 that's going to be another big thing is how they price this accessory but it comes without the weight of something like a vita that has to carry its own library its own storefront its own games and development and that's very expensive and to have all of that and have the weight that it would have to support I don't think we really see another dedicated handheld from Sony or Xbox or anyone the way that people want to see it. With the likes of cloud gaming, which while a lot of people still don't get into it, is offered more and more and is improving. Xbox has cloud gaming in their most expensive Game Pass and Sony has it with their most expensive PlayStation Plus membership here for cloud and I think that you won't really see another dedicated handheld in the way that we think like a Vita or something again because cloud gaming is going to be coming on strong and used in many many devices we don't have PlayStation 5 games yet in the cloud but Sony is working on that and I think you'll see a big push for cloud in the future with them but all in all, this device is kind of funky. It's not gonna to appeal to a lot of people, but being just an accessory for the PlayStation 5 doesn't have to sell a lot. It doesn't have to have a lot of weight on its shoulders to carry like a normal uh, handheld would have to. And we'll have to see how it goes for them going forward, but I'll definitely be grabbing one and testing it out here on the channel. I just kind of wanted to throw my thoughts out there a little bit on this thing. It is a little goofy and it doesn't make sense from a lot of perspectives, but from the accessory side and the PS family side of things, it kind of does when you fit it into everything else. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.